Mike Moore Media. I'm visiting with Summer Woodard, Reedsville City Manager. She's on the line right now. Hey, Summer, how are you? Good morning. I'm well, and yourself? I'm doing just great here, and things are great in downtown Reedsville. Bring us up to date on the Streetscape project. It's looking good, Summer. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, and thank you so much for the opportunity to be able to share some updates to our listeners. I do want to spend a few moments to talk about our streetscape and what you can expect. So by now, I'm sure many of our listeners have heard about the exciting streetscape upgrade and beautification project that's coming and going on at Mural Park. Uh, It will also include the 100 and 200 blocks of South Scale Street. And so we certainly do understand that there may be some concerns and questions, and we're hopeful today that during our interview process with our listeners on your show, we can go over some of the things that our citizens and residents can expect. So one of the big things with this project is you will be seeing new sidewalks, resurfaced streets, and decorative pavers. We'll also be adding new decorative street light poles with banner arms. So the current poles that you see downtown are owned by Duke Energy, So we are working in coordination with Duke Energy to remove those poles and set new poles as we go through this process. And I'll go over a little bit later in the interview what those targeted dates are. Mm -hmm. So we will work in conjunction with Duke Energy to remove the existing poles, but also once those are removed, immediately put up a new pole. So at no time will there be no streetlights downtown. We will work in conjunction with Duke. Mm -hmm. But what's exciting with the new decorative streetlights is, one, they'll be decorative. Two, they'll have banner arms so we can put banners or even flower baskets on them to make it more decorative for our beautiful downtown. And then also they'll have electrical outlets, which will help with our festivals and events. Um, That way food vendors will have better access and be able to set up throughout the street. We will also be able, with the decorative poles, be able to have Christmas decorations on them. So that's one really item we're excited about. We're also going to be working to remove all the planter boxes. So the planter boxes that you see, we're going to be relocating them in all of our parks. So all of our city parks will have at least one planter box, if not more. And then, of course, we'll put a couple at Lake Reedsville. And then we removed the trees a few months ago, and we don't want our listeners to be worried. We do plan to put new plantings in with some crepe myrtles and additional plantings, um, hoping to have a very similar vibe for our downtown area that we currently have on Market, Market Street with the crepe myrtles. We are also working on an electrical infrastructure that can accommodate festival vendors and electrical needs that we went over earlier. But we're also upgrading security cameras throughout our downtown to make sure that um, we have additional provided security and cameras throughout our entire downtown. And then, of course, we're working on enhancing our public Wi-Fi. So throughout the last couple weeks, you've probably noticed some heavy equipment throughout downtown, and that is where we've actually been doing some boring to add fiber to be able to enhance our public Wi-Fi. But this project started in July, and we started at Mural Park. And as many of our listeners have probably noticed, Mural Park over quite some time had started to sink. So in order to fix that sinking problem, we had to go in there and remove the retaining wall, the plantings, and some of the brick pavers. Our goal is to put Mural Park back exactly the way it was. So once we've got all the fill dirt completed to bring it back up to safety code, we will be doing new plantings, replacing the the retaining wall, and putting the brick pavers back. Um, So we are currently working at Mural Park. That is the first phase. We started this project in July, and we're hoping to complete the Mural Park repair by August. And then once we complete Mural Park, we're going to move to the 200 block west of Scales, That completion is scheduled from August to October of 2022. Then we'll move to the 200 block east, and that is scheduled from October to December 2022. And then we'll move from the 100 block west, and that's scheduled from December 2022 to February 2023. And then the final block will be the 100 block east, and that is scheduled for February and completion date of March 2023. So this project is going to be completed in five phases, and as each phase is completed, the next step will begin. But we do ask our listeners to please just be patient with us because we may face challenges with labor and material availability as long as factors such as weather. 
their overall completion date for the entire streetscape project is projected to be March 2023, as long as we're able to get supply and labor demands, because we are doing this entire project in-house. And I would like to give a shout-out to the dedication of our public works crew, who has went above and beyond making sure this project takes place. And you'll see them out currently working at Mural Park. So what you can expect, what our listeners can expect from the city throughout this process is a safe, clean, and efficient, minimum disruptive process. So at no time will businesses be closed. There will always be access to the businesses. We have went around to each business that will be affected by the streetscape and went over this detailed plan with them. Each business, there may be one day that they would need to close, um, but we are going to work with them on days in which they may already be closed or they may have a back entrance. That period would only be for 24 hours when we were pouring sidewalk directly in front of their business. And we are, you know, like I said, we have met with business owners and we are diligently working around their schedules to make this as less intrusive as possible. Um, We are also trying to be very responsive to questions, so we are providing weekly updates on our city website and our city Facebook page on where we are in our streetscape. So we encourage all of our listeners to check out uh, www.reedsvillenc.gov or you can follow us on our Facebook page at Live Simply and Think Big or also the city Facebook page and you'll see weekly updates from our staff on where we are in the process. But we're very excited for this project. Uh, Total is a $1.5 million project. We're able to get that completed um, due to the due diligence of our mayor and city council um, and through our American Rescue Plan funding. That's how we do plan to fund this project. So very exciting times for for here at the city of Reedsville, and we're just very excited of what this uh, potential can bring to our downtown area because we at the city of Reedsville feel like if we can show the investment we're willing to make in our downtown area. Um, Hopefully that will encourage um, our current business owners to to stay and maybe even possibly recruit new businesses to want to come to our downtown area. Our goal is to make our downtown area as friendly and walkable and safe as possible. I'm excited with you and to hear you talk about this. This is a big, big project, isn't it, Summer? Yes, sir, it is. Well, there's a lot going on, and I appreciate the the timelines and all of that as this all comes together. Uh, This really, just uh, the streetscape project, downtown Reedsville, just completely uh, remakes the downtown area, it sounds like. Yes, sir, it it does. We're very excited to, to move forward with this project and give give our beautiful downtown area an even more vibrant facelift. And, you know, you talked early on about just the poles alone, those utility poles, and, and what they'll have on them, the, the, the outlets and the, um, the uh, access there for uh, hangings and things like that, uh, stuff that, you know, when the old poles were put in, those things weren't even considered, were they? Uh, No, sir, and that's our hope with that is just to make our downtown more uh, unified area to where if you look at the current polls, they are kind of just a hodgepodge of polls that have been placed in different places. Um, So that is our goal is just to make this more aesthetically pleasing and just more uh, citizen and business friendly. I know people uh, are missing the trees, but uh, over two dozen crate myrtles going into that project. When do you anticipate those being planted? Do you have a timeline on that? So, yes. So the crate myrtles will probably look at being planted in the early spring when it's in planting season. Mm -hmm. Um, We are working, of course, with some local vendors on getting those trees. Um, But we're very excited because, you know, with any downtown, you want to provide as much green space and greenery as possible. So I do think with the addition of the trees um, going back, I think that will bring some greenery to our downtown. Um, We just need to make sure, and we've discussed this at the city level, is we maintain that greenery. You know, do yearly, you know, trimmings at the proper time um, and make sure we keep those um, to where they don't become intrusive or overgrown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Well, I I certainly uh, am excited with you, as I said, and appreciate you uh, sharing the the plans and um, 
letting us know what's going on in downtown Reedsville. Thank you for that. Is there anything we need to do before we wrap up today? No, certainly appreciate your time. Um, and to our listeners out there, we appreciate you listening. And, again, if you've got any questions um, that in regards to the streetscape, please don't hesitate to give us a call here at City Hall. That number is 336 336- Three four nine one zero three zero, and please don't hesitate to reach out and please always follow our city Facebook page um, and also our city websites for more information. Great. Thank you, Summer. Always good to talk to you. I appreciate it. Thank you. You as well. Have a wonderful day. You too. Bye-bye. Thank you. I hope you were listening closely to Summer Woodard, Reedsville City Manager, as she's uh, giving us an update there on the downtown streetscape project and all it's involved in that 1.5 million dollar project uh and working on mural park now and then uh, branching out into the, all those other areas as well now let me give you a couple of ways um maybe three ways for you to keep up with what's happening in reedsville now that's just the uh, streetscape project uh, we didn't even talk about all of the good things happening at Market Square, the uh, the concerts, and uh, the farmer's market on uh, Thursdays and Saturdays, and, and all of that that happens in the downtown area. Uh, the website, riseupreadsville.com, is a good source of information there. Facebook, I was just on the Team Reedsville Facebook page, and that uh, has a complete um, summary of all of the uh, streetscape work, and then reedsvillenc.gov that Summer mentioned, reedsvillenc.gov. Thank you for supporting our Reedsville businesses. Remember to shop local.